In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called sketching an angle with absolute value less than 2n radians and standard position. And we're asked here just to drag this line around this unit circle to represent theta equals 5 pi over 3. So our units here are radians and in standard form, standard form meaning that we are going to move from the positive x axis counterclockwise is positive, and this theta is a positive value. If we had a negative, we would go in the opposite direction around the circle. And for radians, we know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, but since we have a unit circle, the radius is 1, so 2 pi times 1 is just 2 pi. So all of the way around our unit circle is 2 pi. So from that, we know that halfway around is pi. Going in this direction up at the y-axis, we're halfway to pi. So this would be pi halves. And from here, I think it's really helpful to at least memorize the first quadrant and the pattern that these tick marks here represent. And the pattern is that this first tick mark going around is at pi sixth. Halfway through this first quadrant is pi fourths. The next tick mark here is pi thirds. So seeing and recognizing and remembering this pattern that has pi sixths, pi fourths, pi thirds, pi halves will help us find, calculate, remember, whatever the case may be, all of the other values, because now I can just add or subtract to the values that I already know. So in this example, when I see 5 pi over 3 that we are trying to represent here, I know that's more than pi, so it's not going to be in quadrant 1, it's definitely not going to be in quadrant 2, 5 pi over 3 is more than pi, so it's going to be in at least the bottom part here of our unit circle. And if we don't feel comfortable comparing the value of fractions as far as which is greater and which is smaller, we can just keep going here by recognizing this next standard radian value beyond pi would be pi plus this size piece over here, which is pi 6, this would be pi plus pi 6. Getting a common denominator here, the pi would be 6 pi 6. So adding, this would be 7 pi over 6. Our next one, we would take the pi and add pi fourths to get to this value, and pi plus pi fourths, again getting a common denominator, would be 5 pi fourths, still not far enough around to be our 5 pi thirds. If we keep going, the next one we're now adding pi thirds to get from pi all the way around to this one. Here our pi plus pi thirds is now 4 pi thirds, still not to the one that we want. We haven't talked about this next one. Also worth remembering pi plus pi halves is 3 pi halves. So 3 pi halves. We haven't gotten to our pi thirds yet. Although we're getting closer, this fraction 3 halves is getting closer to 5 thirds. I'm going to label this next tick mark here. Now I can start adding to this 3 pi halves. So 3 pi halves plus remember our first size here is this pi 6 so i'm adding pi 6 to this getting a common denominator would be 9 pi 6 plus pi 6 or 10 pi 6 which reduces to 5 pi over 3 and that is the angle that we were looking for. It is this one, 5 pi over 3. So we have gone all the way through quadrant 1, 
through quadrant two, through quadrant three, and then we had to go one more sort of standard measure to get to this angle, which is five pi thirds distance around our unit circle. 